behalf of the family and loved ones of Hassan, I want to express what we feel to those who mourn with us today in this master and to those still suffering in our homeland of Afghanistan. Hassan was loved as a father, as a son, and as a brother. He always saw the best in people, even if it was not apparent to themselves. Hassan was the embodiment of purity and innocence, and he did his best to always live his life in accordance with the Quran and never miss a daily prayer. Hassan lived by three main principles, honesty, hard work, and bravery. The first word that he spoke was my name, Amir. What would follow was an unbreakable bond between us. Hassan to me was more than just a friend. Hassan was my brother, not just figuratively, but literally as well, as I would later find out. In our youth, we played every day and we spent countless hours reading the Shahnama. Rustam and Sora was his favorite story, and he would always tear up when Rustam killed his long lost son, Sora. I still wonder to this day what he was thinking during that scene. Hassan saved me on numerous occasions from the local thugs who thought that they could pick on me. The occasion that I'll remember forever is the time he stood up for me when Asif and his group tried to jump me for hanging out with him. He pulled out his slingshot and protected me, even though it put his own life in danger. This was the type of man that Hassan was. He did whatever he could to protect his friends, no matter the situation. These are memories remind us of Hassan's bravery and the fearlessness he possessed even if, his odd, if the odds were never in his favor. Hassan was the best kite runner in Kabul. One evening after I won the annual kite flying competition, he said that I would run the last kite for me, that he would run the last kite for me. I will always remember his last words as he ran off for you a thousand times over. He had unlimited loyalty to those close to his heart. In 1996, Hassan and Ali left their house in Kabul to live in Hazarajat, 